Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James and this is my review of The Last of Us, episode 5. So spoiler alert if you're not caught up. Great episode, one of the best episodes so far in my opinion because there were a lot of monsters, you know. So a lot of action when all those things came up out of the ground. Oh, that was so cool. And I do admit I have not played the game, but I know the story. Like I knew what was going to happen to Sam and Henry if they did the same thing in the... TV show as they did the game story so I kind of was expecting something to come like that at the end but the person I was watching the show with didn't so you know someone not familiar with the story haven't played the game doesn't know the outcome of some of the characters and stuff it was a pretty good reaction like oh my god this is going to happen oh I hate it for that kid and oh man he shot himself and all this kind of stuff so I think the show is doing a great job as far as laying it out even though it's stuff that happened in the game the game did it well also but the show you know has to fill in a bunch of parts that you know there's no monsters there's no monsters to shoot at it no infected to fight things like that there's a lot more story being packed in there i think they're doing a great job and you know kathleen's group 10 days prior they overthrew fedra that had been terrorizing them for so long but then they were becoming the same thing. I know some people might say, no, that's not really how people would do or how things would happen, but it is. If you look back through history, it's exactly what happens, especially European history. It's funny how watching Game of Thrones and how that author took pretty much European history and just twisted it around to his own stories in Game of Thrones. And you watch Game of Thrones, you're like, man, they're cutthroat, you know? But this revolution, Kathleen's, it was snuffed out because she wanted so much to kill Henry or to find Henry than to even worry about the monsters underground. She had a lot of resources, men, guns, trucks, things like that, that she could have tried to at least take care of the threat that was underneath their feet. And she knew about it. Kathleen even shoots her doctor trying to look for Henry and stuff, but... We did get the story from Henry's point of view and Sam's, how they hid up in that loft. And, you know, Henry was thoughtful enough to bring the crayons because he knew, you know, they're going to be up there for a while. The kid needs something to do. He likes to draw. So I'm going to get some food, but I need to get this bag of crayons also. So a lot of love there between these two. And that kind of shows you Henry's thought process at the end when he took his own life. But a lot of little details, a lot of stuff from the game. So when Joel and Henry and the rest gets trapped in the street by the guy shooting the sniper, Joel goes and takes him out. He gets the rifle. He gets that good spot aiming down the street. But that's when Kathleen's group comes. Joel's able to shoot the driver of the truck, which veers off, runs into a house, and it has a basement. I'm, I'm suspecting this house has a basement. The explosion kind of weakened everything. The truck falls into the basement, which just ends up causing the cavity of the ground to fall. And the infected comes out. And boy, do they come out. And they're fast. You know, I don't know if it's the cordyceps fungus, but there's another type of fungus that when it releases its spores, it's one of the fastest things. Like it's like a bullet fast, shoots out like a bullet. So spores, fungus, it's fast in nature, fast when it's cordyceps on humans. And watching the behind the episode thing, talking to the showrunners and stuff about how they cast for that, some uh, gymnastic type people. So you can tell, you know, they're coming out of there, crawling on each other and all kinds of stuff. The little girl that came into the truck after Ellie, she was a gymnastic. You know, if you watch that scene back, she moved in all kinds of crazy ways. Um, so that helped her uh, in that scene, as far as an actress being gymnastic and stuff, being able to move like that, that's what they wanted. And it was creepy. And the truck falling into the ground and the infected coming out, you know, Kathleen was about to shoot Henry. So what timing? That timing was perfect for Henry to get away. And the fight, the whole fight, the bloater coming up out of the ground, ripping the guy's head off, throwing people around, you know. To me, that whole scene was shot so very well. The acting, the CGI, everything they put into that was so awesome. You know, I don't know how it would all go down in real life if there was a situation of someone seeking revenge, but Kathleen pointed the gun at Henry there at the end for a long moment, anyway, before the little kid came and attacked her, which was vicious. But Kathleen, you know, a long moment pause, you know, like she was going to say something to Henry, like, oh, finally got you or something. Just pull the trigger, you know, raise the gun, pull the trigger. 
in half a second, you know, and your revenge is done. But that whole little bit from the sniper at the first to Kathleen getting mauled by that infected kid, that whole little stretch, man, great television. And then in the aftermath, we see Henry, you know, he's visibly shaken. I thought that actor did very, very well uh, for that character. And I thought Sam, they really did get a deaf kid to play Sam, and I thought he did a phenomenal job. But of course, he was bitten, and that was sad. And Ellie, she cut her hand and tried to fix him. You know, she wants to be that. I think I've talked about it in a previous review, and I think we'll see it toward the end of the series. She kind of likes being a savior of the world, a hero. She wants to be that. She wants to give her blood or give whatever she can, her life, even if it saves the human race. And if you want to look at it as a game, again, this was another level, just another level for Joel and Ellie to get through, and they got through it, but man, scarred on the other side, you know. I think Joel realizing that Ellie's a little bit more than cargo, she's becoming family, uh, their relationship together, he wants to protect her, he has to protect her. But I do think through this episode, their bond is definitely cemented that much more. I do like how you don't have to have played the game to understand it. There's so many Easter eggs and little things for people that have played the game, though. So all of that's really cool. If, if somebody goes and plays the game after watching the show, they'll be like, Oh, that was in the show. That was in the show. That was in the show. Oh, you can go around and find these comic books. Different places, different levels. Collect the comic books. So the comic in the show and so many different things are actually from the game. But it's awesome that you don't have to know all of that. Hey, there's a comic book in this show. That's cool. You don't have to know about how it ties into the game. I definitely think with this episode, The Last of Us has really stood out and impacted some people going, wow, this show is something. I think after this episode, people will even feel a little bit more for Joel and Ellie. Like, you know, don't want them to die complete your mission, get her where she needs to go, you know, let's see how this plays out. But the world is definitely like Joel told Ellie, you know, you got to watch out, mostly for people. The fight scene with all the infected in this episode may be one of the best overall. We'll see as the series plays out. But I'm really enjoying this series, really enjoyed this episode. You guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Any other little details or story bits you want to talk about? And I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more dead stuff.